is show other women that you can have children, that you can be a mom too, and you can also be a dynamic U.S. Senator. As a mother and a wife, I think I bring a different perspective to the debate over issues than a husband and her father would. Neither one is more right than the other, just different. Because I was a mother, very involved in the PTAs, very involved in school councils, I saw firsthand um, the importance of being involved in politics. Our experience as caregivers is really unique. We really get it as moms about protecting kids. What I brought, I felt, was common sense logic to the laws that was going to impact mostly our children's lives. In the Maryland General Assembly, I've been able to work on legislation that makes things better for kids in Maryland. I am most proud of passing the first and only so far bullying, anti-bullying legislation uh, for Utah. It's children in foster care and I've passed several pieces of legislation to be sure that they get proper intervention and mental help. From education to child care to caring for their parent during their maternal years, all of those issues, I think the women bring the perspective that is needed and necessary. I had some people when I knocked on their door, they said you should be at home with your children. Well, I took my children with me on the campaign trail. They are both very, very grateful that their mom ran for public office. And I knew I had small children when I first went into politics, but that didn't stop me. I was doing it for my children and everybody else's children. So. It was my passion to serve, and I think women have that special passion to care and to give. We need the lives of women and the experiences of women reflected in the General Assembly and in the Senate in each and every state in this country. And that's why I really want to see more women and more mothers running for office.